those of us who are members of our tribe uh, here at Best of Us Investors have recognized the, a unique investment opportunity in investing in Netlist. They're involved in a um, patent infringement case against uh, Google. Uh, the case has been going on for 10 years, and the patent office has said, yes, Google, you are in violation of their, of their patent on a number of causes. And the, what now has to be determined uh, is what is the amount or if there is going to be some settlement, financial settlement, going net list way. The general consensus is, yes, there is. The question mark is how much and when and how. So we've been, as a tribe, working on this. It's been led by one of our tribe members, Gabe, and uh, he has, in fact, talked to some lawyers and he's come down to basically there's one element of, of uh, the, the filing, filing number 16, that has the greatest potential for a huge payoff. The question then becomes, where does this stock go? It, it, I bought in at $3. It's been up to 10. It's come back down to 5. Um, and, and a lot of that was as a result of recently, it's a thinly traded stock, people had stop loss orders, and, and it was manipulated. So those of us who have held on want to know, okay, where is the top? We kind of believe it's 20, but let's put together a team, a group of people who have skills in this area, and uh, let's find out and, and, and put together a plan, uh, a, this is what we think it, the payout will be, and this is our plan, if and when it reaches that, how we're going to react. Where are we going to get out? Where are we going to buy back in? Let's make a plan. So the other night, I had a interview with Gabe, and Gabe wants to present this, and I want Gabe to present this, and Gabe wants to lead a team within our tribe uh, to dig as deep as anybody ever has uh, to analyze what the potential payout is to uh, Netlist from Google and what would be the subsequent price of the stock if, in fact, that was what was decided. So this is my interview with Gabe, uh, and I think you'll see he's very intense on this, and he, he's going to ask you for your help. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Uh, hey, 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 Kerry. Um, again, Thanks for having me. I uh, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate that you're going to give me access, you know, make a video with me and, and give me um, the opportunity to discuss um, a couple things, and so that both uh, the tribe members and um, anyone else who stumbles upon this video um, can maybe uh, learn from it and um, partake in my request. That will be very clear at the end of this. So, excellent. Yeah. So uh, anyone who's watching this, hello. Um, it is it is Monday, and today was a rough day for new and old uh, shareholders alike because you saw your your portfolio of netless stock um, lose um, of around twenty five percent. And um, I, I know it was hard for a lot of people. I know a lot of people had stop losses, unfortunately, and. Um, don't really know why they bought into Netlist. Everybody bought in for different reasons. I bought in for the research that I did, and that's why I'm here today. So um, I am here today um, as succinctly as possible to explain to you um, what I know and um, the opportunity that we have ahead of, in front of us. So as um, most people know, um, Netlist is um, in litigation of over um, 11 or 12 years now with a Google, okay? And um, it's, it's over patent infringement. And uh, long story short, there are 78 claims in this patent infringement, 78 of them. Claim 16 
is an extremely special crane. Um, without being too technical, what, uh, what I'm going to try to explain is that during revalidation of the patent, which we finished, uh, which Nellis finished in 2020, um, most things, as they do during revalidation, some of them have to get changed in some kind of a way. And um, because of that either change or a small change or big change, it, go, um, it, is, uh, it is liable to get what's called intervening rights. And uh, I'm not going to make this video long and into and, and, and a lot of detail, but we can talk offline. But what I will say is that there's two types of intervening rights. There's absolute intervening rights and equitable intervening rights, none of which are good for netlist. Intervening rights are good for the defendant, in this case, Google. Okay, claim 16, as I mentioned earlier, um, is a very special claim of the entire 78 claims because it it has undergone basically no changes. As a matter of fact, the verbiage from its original state to now is completely unchanged. The only difference between before and now is that before it used to be a dependent claim, which was part of a larger claim, and now it is an independent claim. Some, that is something that happens at the PTAB level. Now, what's great about that is that, that Google is trying to say that is a change that is sufficient for intervening rights. Um, however, um, case, um, previous case law and fact shows that the exact same thing is not, it is not um, um, substantial as, the, uh, as in the verbiage, it is not a substantial change and therefore is not liable for intervening rights. So why am I saying all of that? I'm saying all of that is because of the 78 claims, and I'm not saying it's the only one that Netless is going to win, but of the 78 claims, it is the only one that is completely identical to how it was at the beginning. And as such, um, by fact and law, any reasonable person will be able to see that it is not liable for intervening rights. So much so that um, Netlist has put in for summary, summary partial judgment, which basically means officially it will not be um, able to have any intervening rights to it. Um, again, I'm not saying that that is the only one of the 78 claims. You'll, um, I'm just saying it's the only one that in my mind, and this, what I'm about to say is opinion, in my mind, in Gabe's mind, it is a no-brainer. It is a 100% go-through. Netlist, in my mind, will not, no matter what Google pulls out of their um, third point of contact, Google will not be able to get through this litigation unscathed. Um, 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 claim 16 is as good as gold in my mind. Okay, so before I get to, to the to the to the crux of this video, um, I, I wanna I wanna give you guys motivation on why this is so important. Um, it, it, today, Netlist closed around um, five something. Okay, I don't remember what it was, but it was five something. I think five sixty five or around there. Um, if we can figure out, and the information is out there, if we can figure out how much claim 16 is worth, and, and, and there's a lot of people out there just spurting numbers, right? But no, but I mean through, through deep research that I have the questions for, that I know the information is out there, but I don't have the, 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 the technical prowess to get it. If, if we can figure out how much it's worth, Carrie, that's like saying you have someone over here that you know will pay you X amount of dollars, let's say $40 for this item, whatever it is. And then you go to the store and the item is $10 and your last $10 in your pocket, you're going to buy it because you know for a fact that you can go over here and sell it without question. Well, that's what we have with Claim 16. We have the stock price at this low price, in my opinion. Um, but claim 16 being the no-brainer that it is, all we need to know is a little bit more specifics. Once we get these specifics, we know that if a settlement or if it goes to trial, what have you, we know the worth. So it'll be like that item where somebody's going to pay us this 
but we go to the store and it's worth this. It's very, very powerful. And mind you, I am not saying that this is the only claim of the 78 that they're going to win. I'm saying this is the one where we can say no matter what, if, if S hits the fan, we know we're at least getting this amount. Anyway, this is very powerful. The reason I, am, I, I reached out to you, Kerry, is because if, if you are listening to this video, okay, and you are a person with um, legal background of any kind, okay, that you understand legal terms. If you are a, 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 a person who is either in the, um, the, the, the server um, realm, who's a, a technical um, wizard in the server realm, specifically DDR4, because that is the chipset that specifically um, 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 is claim 16 dependent. Um, if, if, if you are a person who is very, very savvy at looking at um, quarterly and uh, yearly reviews, and I'll just give you a hint. One of the questions that I need help answering is a profit margins, and that's why I need that kind of individual. Or lastly, if you are just a smart person who is motivated like me into finding the questions to get the answers we need to figure out what we have in front of us, and that there is a sale going on right now, and we need to jump on it instead of panic. If you are any of those people, I am requesting that you join Carrie's Discord. The link will be in the description. Okay, I'm gonna have my own room in the Discord, and um, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will brief you or whoever joins um, to, to get on this venture with me, and um, we can tackle this problem. Um, I'm telling you, I am not a person that's been holding for a year or anything, okay? I'm just a guy that found out about it three months ago and just got hyper-focused on it. And um, I know more than most people. And, and yes, I hired a uh, patent attorney um, and I paid a lot of money for it, um, for his advice and his um, knowledge. And, and it's because of that that I know more than most people. It's, it's, I, I will say there's a lot of things that people are confused on. But I am not. I, I know almost the ins and outs, but I am not an expert. And I am not the smartest person in the world. So, Carrie, thank you for um, having this video with me. And if you're out there and this resonates with you, please join the Discord link. Thank you. Thank you, Gabe. And, and uh, this has not been rehearsed between Gabe and I. And this is no. exactly what I want this channel to become. I want it to be a, co a community that um, someone like Gabe steps forward and finds this nugget and says, I don't, I'm not a scientist, I don't know the answer, but I'm looking for help. And if you can help, step forward, and then we will all collectively benefit. And I would hope, Gabe, that this serves as a, a model, and it's the first of many times that we collectively as best of us investors, dig in deep, work together, and um, determine what we've got before we before we harvest it. Okay. I again, I want to I want to congratulate you on on your persistence and your courage to um, to stand behind this. And I like you. I, I got a, a email from um, one of the tribe members who said, uh, I'm getting scared about this. I, I'm not, and my question to them is, well, my statement was, first of all, there's very few people in the investment world who even know anything about this lawsuit. And secondly, uh, has anything changed? Has anything changed in the stock since it was valued at $10 a share? No. And I think you hit it. We, they, they, got, they got a lot of stop loss orders. Uh, they hit a lot of stop losses and it tumbled. And as it tumbled, it created panic. And when panic steps in, the big guys just, they, they just take you to the cleaners. So excellent, Gabe. Um, I will get this up and um, we'll, get, uh, we'll get, we'll put together a team, hopefully, that will help you find the answers we're all looking for.
Fingers Thank crossed, you. Carrie. Thanks for the opportunity. Okay, this gives you an overview of how Best of Us Investors works. Yes, we're a YouTube channel. Yes, I'm a retired financial advisor. Yes, we are a group of people who are working together for a common cause. And that's what I want to, the word I want to highlight here is together. I'm the host of the channel. I'm the one who built the channel. But from this point on, this channel will be built by our tribe. We've even written a book that you can find in the description. It's available on Amazon to explain the concept, a very unique concept. I've never seen anything done like this before, where through the power of the internet, we're coming together to create our own group of people that work together for the benefit of the tribe. So, if you like this idea, give it a thumbs up. That helps my algorithm. We're trying to get our tribe up to 5,000 people by the end of the year. If you'd like to be a part of that, come to, first of all, subscribe, then come to bestofusinvestors.com. Find there your invitation to our Discord, and then come take a look. See if it fits for you, if this is how you want to invest in the future, and let's, let's all just get rich. I mean, why not?